Bounty Hunter has always been people's favorite, because it's that colossal sword that also retains some kind of finesse. This weapon that we have right here, it has had the best of the Sui Hunter, but it also adds that little bit of a stylish flavor to the weapon looks and how it plays. I am in love with this weapon, not only because it looks amazing, but it's also one of the most powerful weapons in the entirety of the game, especially because of the synergy that it has with the Ash of War right here. Now, the good thing about it is that it also has amazing, amazing range. You can see that this thing is just long as it gets. The poise damage, the damage on itself, the stagger potential, the long range that this thing has, it also has one of my favorite movesets when it comes to the heavy attacks of the weapon, because it has poking attacks. And like you know, poking attacks, thrusting attacks are some of the best, if not the best damage type in the entirety of the game. Overall, this weapon has just everything, and if you pair it up with the Ash of War that we'll be using right here, you will have not only power, uh, stagger potential, damage, you also have that amazing, amazing range that it just turns into a monstrous, monstrous weapon to have. So the character build is pretty straightforward, we are going to scale this weapon out of uh, faith and we're not going to be able to reach the hard cap of faith that is only going to be around 30 points more damage, but the reason for that being is that uh, it has some of the most useless stat requirements in the entirety of the rosters that you have, will have in, in the game. It has a re stat requirement for strength 22 and dexterity 18. Those are weapon requirements right there and they are going to be useless because they are not going to give you any kind of scaling. Usually, more often than not, the weapon requirement yields you that extra little scaling from the weapon even though that you're not building the weapon, the weapon towards it. That being said, it is a stat hungry build because of that, so that's why we don't have uh, the hard cap for faith right here. But still, at 60, you're still going to be able to reach 900 AR damage, which is just nuts. So we do have the soft cap for faith at 60, and then vigor at 60, mine 23. We're not going to be... Uh, it is kind of like a medium cost when it comes to FP consumption. But uh, more often than not, you're only going to be using it to buff your weapon and to have some kind of range distance damage. Endurance in 30, because it is quite a heavy weapon, it's not as heavy as some of the other colossal swords that you have in the game, but it's still a colossal sword, so it is still going to be heavy, hence that's why we have our endurance in 30. So the equipment of our weapon, it's actually pretty straightforward, we have our Fire Knight's Flame Art Greatsword right here, and we'll talk about the Flaming Spear, the Flame Spear in a little while, this is going to be a plus 25, it has a, a fate scaling of B meaning that most of our damage is going to be coming from fire damage, which is one of the best damage types, damage elements, that you have in the entirety of the game. A seal, it doesn't have to be upgraded, we're just using this for upgrading, uh, for buffing our weapon, and the buffs are percentage based, so you don't really need to use the, the seal. If you do want to pair it up with, like, for example, fire knight incantations to add, add a little bit more cosplay or mesmer incantation, you can by all means get the fire knight seal right here. I'm not doing such a thing because I'm just making a warrior that seems to be scaling our damage from faith, but we're not using spells. Mesmer Soldi Shield, it's a nice shield, but it has, it has a nice guard boost, it's not that heavy, but since you do have quite a bit of strength, then feel free to change this one right here. As for the armor, like uh, always, nothing special, just make sure that you're bypassing that 51 points threshold, your attacks also have hyper armor, and since you have hyper armor, you're going to benefit from that uh, poise that you have right there. There's three talismans with this weapon that I consider for it to be a must, one of them, being a concession, a little bit of a concession. First of all, most Shadow Alexander for extra 15% more damage to our Ash of War, and then Godfrey Icon, the Ash of War that we'll be using. It is a charge Ash of War, meaning that we get 20% more damage from this thing. And then the Fire Scorpion Charm, it does have like, like a lower damage negation. You do take more damage while using this thing. But since we're going to have that much that fire damage, I can't stress enough how important it is for you to, to have this little extra 12% more fire damage. Because more often than not, our damage is going to be quite increased by us using like fire attacks. 
And then the final one, there's a little bit of a concession right here. Since it is a heavy weapon, you can be using, like, for example, the Great Yard's Arsenal, Erdry's Favorite Plus Two, something like a Drake uh, Talisman to uh, counter attack that counter that little extra damage that you take from the Fire Scorpion Charm. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can have right here. The final talisman is going to be up to your personal preference. These are some recommendations that I have for you right here. Our weapon has a peculiarity. Anytime that you imbue it with more fire, uh, fire attack, it's going to increase it even more than the regular weapons. So that being said, I'm using the uh, Flame Spear right here because this not only has huge damage, it can also be using uh, be used as a basic attack without charging in uh, whenever you do need to buff your weapon real fast because that's what it's going to do. It also has tremendous range. It can turn you into a sniper that is going to deal tremendous damage that you can spam from a distance to kill things faster without even getting close to them. Consequentially, you could also use the uh, Flame Skewer, which is also going to increase your fire damage. Just make sure that you're always using the Flame Mart, because it, it can give you like Flame Mart, but it can also give you Fire Weapon. Fire Weapon is going to increase the strength. This weapon doesn't do that well on strength, even though that it seems to be, but um, ideally we want to have Flame Art, because this is what's going to give us uh, B, Scaling and Faith. There's two Crystal Tears that I advise for you to use, that being Flame Sharding Crack Tear to increase your damage by 20% more. That is just uh, our damage, is all fire damage, and remember that the weapon takes more advantage of, for fire damage. And then the Stone Varp Crack Tear to provide you a little bit more of a stagger potential. Remember that this is a very heavy damaging poise weapon, meaning that this is going to take advantage of this thing right here. However, this is not a mandatory thing. If you want to use something different in this love for, uh, on this lot for your crack tier, be my guest. This is not a, a must kind of thing. The one that is a must is the flame shouting crack tier. The spells. Flame, grant me strength. This is 20% more physical damage and 20% more fire damage, meaning this is a flat 40% more damage right here. And then with Golden Bow, which is 15% more damage and then 10% damage negation, this could also help alleviate the damage extra negation, the damage extra damage you take from the Fire Scorpion Charm. You can by all means use Fire Incantations right here, or you can use like Mesmer Incantations right here. You do have more than enough faith, you don't have the the hard cap to take the most advantage of the incantations and more often than not your Ash of War is going to deal more damage than any incantation that you can find out there in the game but if you do want to use them then be my guest you can provided that you have all of these buffs and everything set up as I have it right here usually uh, on some enemies that are not resistant to fire damage on the DLC and you you have been leveling up your Shadow Tree Fragments, then you will be dealing like 10k damage in one single usage of the Ash of War, of the Charge Ash of War, then again, provided that the enemy is not resistant. On the base game, it's still going to be 5 to 6k damage on certain types of enemies, even more on enemies that are not resistant to fire. So, yes, it is monstrous, the damage is just tremendous, the range potential that you have with this build is just filthy and disgusting, and and the stagger, the damage, the power, everything about it, this, it just feels so monstrous, broken, and it's its just a little extra something, is that the weapon style and how it looks provides you a monstrous, tremendous visage that the enemies are going to be afraid as soon as they see you. You are now the boss of the game, not the other way around. Anyways, if you like the content, like the universe, I appreciate it. Not only you today, you're a gorgeous, beautiful person. You're in the gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful person. Subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, like the video. Have a beautiful day, and goodbye.